Melissa and welcome or welcome again to Oh My Bird, Milly. So yes, I have been in my air a little on uh, YouTube, on TikTok and on Instagram because life just got to me and I was busy with work and certain other stuff that I couldn't actually find time to film even my reading progress over the last uh, month has been very slow because like I said, just, just everything got to me and I just didn't have time anyway today I'm going to take you on a magical journey with Karawa by Stephanie Garg The Caraval Trilogy was one of my reads back in June and trust me guys, I just loved the entire series. Rather than me trying to explain what Caraval is about or trying to explain the storyline, I decided that I would read the synopsis so that y'all can get to know what Caraval is. Whatever you've heard about Caraval, it doesn't compare to the reality. It's more than just a game or a performance. It's the closest you'll ever find to magic in this world. Scarlet has never left the tiny island where she and her beloved sister Tella live with their powerful and cruel father. Now Scarlet's father has arranged a marriage for her and Scarlet thinks her dreams of seeing Caraval, the faraway once a year performance where the audience participates in the show are over. But this year, Scarlet's long dreamt of invitation finally arrived. With the help of a mysterious sailor, Tella whisks Scarlet away to the show. Only as soon as they arrive, Tella is kidnapped by Caraval's mastermind organizer, Legend. It turns out that this season's Caraval revolves around Tella and whoever finds her first is the winner. Scarlet has been told that everything that happens in Caraval is only an elaborate performance. But she nevertheless becomes enmeshed in a game of love, heartbreak and magic with the other players in the game. And whether Caraval is real or not, she must find Tella before the five nights of the game are over, a dangerous domino effect of consequences are set off and her sister disappears forever. Welcome! Welcome to Karawa. Beware of getting swept too far away. Oh my word, I honestly have no idea why I waited so long to get into this series or to start this series. When I first read the synopsis, I did not expect much from this. But when I started reading, this story was so magical, so whimsical and just so perfect it just surpassed my expectations it just it just went beyond my expectation i love reading it from start to finish every single word every single page that i turned was so captivating right throughout the book that i just loved even the reading experience of this i can never come up with a direct perfect definition of what Caraval is because there is just so much that at one point it is one thing but it's actually not like I hope you get what I mean it's just some say it's a carnival some say it's a circus some say it's a game or a performance and it is, it is sort of, but in my opinion and my experience reading this, for me it's like all of the above and uh, it's like it has this adventurous setting with 
a scavenger hunt ish uh, like um, quest ish setting sort of thing that i i just i just love that setting that's not a setting that i have read before so a lot of people compare this to the night circus which i know nothing of and i have also heard this is by far different to night circus i don't know one hopefully when i read night circus i'll compare these two in the future like when i say it's so much one thing and not at the same time it's it's not an overwhelming thing it's just just a captivating thing for me the plot was the best part of the book you couldn't help but being swept away because there was so much of magic that it made everything seem real and like the players kept getting swept away and even i couldn't hold myself from being spellbound it was full of magic drama suspense and mystery that this this plot will not bore you trust me the other two books of this series is by far even better so i have heard people not liking the plot of caraval that much but trust me guys hold on to it read it just get through it and go to the next book because at the end it's this series is so 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 well deserving to be read but i i actually love the plot from all three books i just love everything about it and the concept of caraval was just properly perfectly introduced to the readers in this and i absolutely loved the author's style of writing i found the it perfect and on point and there was like great world building that was just like icing on top of a cake like it it just sealed the deal to, for you to understand this entire world to get swept into this new world that you are getting into it was so fast paced and beautifully written that uh, you just kept swiping through or turning pages because you just wanted to know what happens next or like just i wanted to know what happens next and no one actually knew who legend was or what he looked like or what his actual name is or like they didn't know if he was one of the players or some one of the audience or like the spectators like no one knew who he was so they were all trying to figure out like not only play the game and uh, pass to each level they were also trying to figure out who he was only a select few of the performers of caraval who are like legends confidants knew who legend was but no one knew who those close players were either so everyone was just suspecting every other like each other so as a reader oh my god every character that i started reading i kept suspecting and i was like is he legend no he's legend oh no no i'm pretty sure that's legend and no one was legend well there was legend it's just yeah we'll just keep that point for the latter of this video i love plot twists right so this plot was packed i tell you packed from the very beginning to the end with so many plot twists they were not just plot twists to just spice up the scene or to liven the story no no it wasn't like that it wasn't that the book was getting boring and then bam bam a, a plot twist came no each plot twist this book had had a purpose had a reason for it which made it even more enticing to read and that's something i saw throughout the series throughout all the books there was no foreshadowing whatsoever of these plot twists like even if you thought that something might happen it's it's beyond what you were expecting it, like you didn't see it happen i'm trying hard not to spoil it for you all or like to tell a scenario where i will spoil it so i'm sorry but i'm not going to spoil this so you all have to read it so next thing i loved about the three books are the characters so 
each and every character in the storyline were distinct and like charismatic and like they were just unique to each other that even the smallest character gave it so much gave the story so much of depth to it others might have different opinions but this is just my opinion that i think you would like from this book that's my review so no offense if y'all didn't like it or things or if y'all disagree with me it's just my opinion especially how julian's character progressed throughout the story was very intriguing to me like stephanie garber first introduced julian to us as this mysterious sailor who helped scarlet and tella go to legends island and then she made julian scarlet's companion throughout the game also he started becoming this main love interest of the story and also towards the latter part of the book his character just had this mysteriousness like you knew something is fishy something is off you were suspecting him like i loved how this how the characters progress especially julian's like i love that i liked that something is off with him kind of feeling there are so many things i loved about caravel and i'm pretty sure y'all would have thought there was nothing that i didn't like about this book but trust me guys y'all were so wrong i couldn't stand scarlet's character i just couldn't vibe with her scarlet's character was stubborn which is fine like obviously aren't we all stubborn in our own ways but her character was written in a way she was stubborn so stubborn to a point where she was stupidly stubborn and she she held herself so high she was like in her head she ignored whatever the others were trying to do even julian trying to help her and she just did exactly what she is told not to do and throughout this you just see what they mean by scarlet has a very cruel powerful father actually but all she wanted to do in the entire game forget about enjoying caravel all she wanted to do was find tella go back to her father who was like abusive to them beg him for forgiveness and get married to this unknown guy who her father practically sold her to and that's all she cared it was like this prey who escaped trying to just crawl herself back into the lion's den and i just thought that was like utterly stupid like she can be naive she can be someone who has not left her island or interacted with other people but come on everyone has some common sense right she sounded like this goody two shoes that honestly i couldn't stand like i just it i just i just didn't like her but that was the only thing i didn't like about this book it i i just loved everything else i just didn't like scarlet but i like scarlet's bond with uh, tella like that sibling bond was there but that's something i actually liked about her but apart from that i i just couldn't vibe with her magical it may be the story was more exciting because while you are reading you get that underlying sense of darkness that gave an edge to karava like you knew something was off or something greater is in play behind this facade that i i loved that sense of feeling when reading also i thought karava was very cruel because you know things happen and like you witness uh, murders deceptions and what you see is actually not what it is and even murders and sort of things at the end of the the day it was just a game and i was like oh wow that's so cruel but still alluring enticing the story i don't know i sound like a psychopath <laughs> oh 
it was so cruel trust me it was cruel it was eating me alive but that was also a reason that was like just increasing the serotonin and the dopamine in me and just making me want to read more the atmosphere of this story and the magical aspect of Caravel was so vibrant and dreamy that you can't help yourself but be bewitched by it. This also had me on my toes like guessing, suspecting and like doubting everything I read and then trying to find legend and ah, it was just captivating and if you all are wondering if we finally find out who legend was i'm sorry to say it's not in caravel but it's in one of the next two books so if you all want to find out who legend is and what happens next definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so you will be notified when i upload more videos honestly this book ends at a fantastic place for the next book which is legendary to start off from and i thought the setting was really apt and like it had me hooked even the ending had me hooked that i couldn't wait to take the next book and start reading i read this book in just two days and i gave it only a four star rating not because i didn't like the book or anything i just couldn't vibe with scarlet so that was just a point that was just touching a nerve this is a book that i will recommend to everyone i have already started recommending this to a lot of my friends i also want to stress and say this is not your everyday fantasy series it is one of its kind i would also like to see this in a movie <laughs> that was a thought that i had from the very beginning of the book and like even thinking of it now it's just got me excited and i'm like all in my head i just can picture it the scenery is the costumes the way they had explained it i don't know if a movie or a tv series could actually do justice for this but i would love to see this and who wouldn't want scarlet's dress or dress that changes based on your mood like i would never have to go shopping or waste money on shopping <laughs> and with that it's time for me to wrap up this review let me know if you have read caravel or what you thought about this review of mine in the comments down below and if you still haven't read caravel please 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 pretty please pick the book up and start reading trust me if you love fantasy you will love this as well if you're new to fantasy and or if you want to get into fantasy start here please if you like this review and this video and if you want to see more of me don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out any of my future videos and with that here is me signing off for today so bye and stay safe from oh my word millie